what up everybody it's your girl july from kickback couture and i just shot this tutorial on some live tips that will change your life if you don't know about them already and you haven't seen my previous videos let's get straight into it all right first things first i found a loop that i like in loop cloud So I'm going to grab that, just drag it and drop it into Ableton Live. Next thing I'm going to do is figure out what key it's in. Now, I know it says A minor, but let's say, for example, it doesn't tell us what key it's in. I'm going to show you how to figure that out. You're going to come up to Audio Effects and click on Tuner. Now, this is one way to do it. I actually prefer another way, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's listen to it. Now, it looks like it's going to be a C major, which makes sense because the clip says A minor on it. And A minor is the same as C major. It is the parallel minor of, or sorry, it is a relative minor of C major. So, another way we could do this is by using Mixed in Key Studio Edition. Another option you have is Auto Key by Antares. Now, if you don't work with vocals, you might have Mixed in Key Studio Edition um, before you have on terror on terror's auto key sorry <laughs> so let's listen to it and let mixed in key listen to it as well and it also says c major so we know that the key is going to be c major or the relative minor which is a minor and i'm actually going to program everything in a minor so I'll leave the links to everything I'm using in the description as well. So don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and make sure this is the right length. All right, perfect. Now I would like to do an 808 program in 808. So let's do that. I'm going to show you some tricks with that. We'll grab a Zaytoven 808. All right, awesome. Now I'm going to play a C on my keyboard. And I already have a tuner set right here so I can see what note is being played. Now I'm playing a C and it's showing a C sharp. I keep this on one shot so that the 808 plays all the way through, by the way, and I don't have to hold it. So it'll play all the way through and cancel each itself out when I play a new note automatically. Now, since it says C sharp when I'm playing a C, I'm going to drop the transpose down one semitone, which is what that ST stands for. Now I was playing a C, and when I program it, I put it in the sequencer, it'll be in key. All right, now the key was A minor or C major. So I'm going to put some 808s in, and then I'll show you the next trick. All right, cool. I got a basic 808 pattern, and um, I did kind of breeze through one of the tips. Um, this secret menu down here is Live Enhancement Suite. Now, it gives you this secret menu in addition to some other stuff i definitely suggest you check out i have a separate video on that i'll put the, the link down in the description and if i don't show something in the video i'll put the link down to the website where you can go get it and you can google it if you want to know more than what i say all right now the next thing i want to do is add some hi-hats all right cool i got my hi-hat i'll keep this on classic mode so i can play more than one hi-hat at once and uh we'll go ahead and Check this out. Now, this pattern is already in my template. But what I want to show you is slice notes. Now, you can expand this and slice your notes. So I'm going to duplicate this loop a couple times so I can get a longer pattern. And I'll show you what you could do with slice notes. you can literally pick a note and slice it. Um, you could do multiple notes as well. So let's say I wanted to do these two that are leading up to a clap. Then I could grab these two and do that. I can also take this one and do something like this. And now I have instant uh, rolls really quickly. All 
right? So slice notes, that is another one of those tips I wanted to give you. So if you were counting, the first one would have been getting the key of that 808 with mixed in keys to the audition or the tuner. The second one would have been live enhancement suite, which I kind of skipped over. And then the next one would have been slice notes. And uh, of course I set the template. So that's a uh, four all together. So let's go ahead and add some more drums to this. All right, now, to be honest, I'm not really feeling this loop anymore, so I probably put some effects on it. All right, cool, so I put finisher voodoo on it. Now it's time to show you the last tip. Okay, next tip. I added a little simple counter melody for the sake of this tutorial really quickly. Now let's say I want to change the key of the sample. Now if I change the key of the sample, it's not going to be in tune with anything else. But I'm going to show you how to fix that, right? So this is an audio clip, so we can double click on that clip, come to the transpose. It's in A minor. Let's say I want it in... Uh, D sharp. So we'll go up one, two, three, four, five semitones. All right, let's go one more semitone, and I'll solo this. All right, let's say I like that one better. Now, all together, I went up six semitones. So, what about the rest of the beat? It's all out of key, right? We could change that. In my template, I have this global transpose Max for Live device. Now I could bring this up six steps. And everything is back in key. Now, hopefully, you have Max for Live so that you'll be able to use all of these amazing tools I've shown. Uh, more specifically, the Global Transpose, Slice Notes, and even Live Enhancement Suite. Otherwise, I'm sure you still picked up some gems of what's possible, what you can do in Ableton Live. All right, the last thing I want to tell you is the theme I'm using. It's called Godly DK2, and I'll put the link to that in the description as well. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.